Welcome back guys to another video and today we're going to talk about literature revision to profitability and why does profitability sometimes jumps to like insanely high levels. Sometimes you can get like 100 to 200% better profits with literature revision to than with anything else but most of the times all of the algorithms are about the same. So we're going to talk about why does that happen and how can that even be profitable for the buyers of the hashing power. So right now if you go to the nice hash algorithms over here to see the profitability, we can see that with Lira 2 Revision 2 I get 20,000 Satoshis per day on 180 Ti, but on some other algorithms I get between 17 to 20,000 per day. So Lira 2 Revision 2 is still the most profitable, but it is not 100 to 200% more profitable than something else. And why does that even happen? So over here um, you can see the buy orders for your hashing power. So somebody has to place the buy order for that hashing power and they have to pay the insanely high amounts of Bitcoin to get all of that hashing power for all of the miners to switch to mine Lira 2 Revision 2. So if we go over here to algorithms and we find over here Lira 2 Revision 2 over here and you can see how much are people are bidding per giga hash of power. So over here you can see that somebody is paying 4.43 Bitcoin per 1 tera hash per 24 hours with tera hash limit of 0 0.01 and they currently have 62 miners. But sometimes you can see that all of the rigs just immediately switch to Lira 2 Revision 2 and sometimes profitability jumps over here from 4.4 to maybe like 10 Bitcoin per terahash per day. So there is a huge demand for Lira 2 Revision 2 and why is that happening? If we go over here to my rigs, over here you can see how much I am actually making with my rigs. This is the first rig setup and this is the second rig setup. You can see over here in 7 days that I have those two huge spikes over here and those two huge spikes were for Lira 2 revision to profitability and they lasted for uh, like few hours to maybe like 5 to 10 hours depending on how much people of hashing power they need. So here uh, my profitability jumped from uh, 0 0.0009 bitcoins per day to as much as 24. So about 200% increase in profitability for few hours. You can see that I am right now mining Equihash with GTX 1060 GB. Those are the 180s, uh, all three of them. And over here I have 5 1060s, 6 GB. And even they switched to mine uh, the Lira 2 revision to algorithm for few hours over here. So why would somebody pay so much more for a Lira 2 Revision 2 than for any other algorithm and how can that be profitable? The thing with Lira 2 Revision 2 is that it is really hard to make ASIC for that specific algorithm because this one algorithm consists of many different algorithms. And this is the same deal as it is with X16R which is used for mining Ravencoin and that algorithm has 16 different algorithms combined and you never know which algorithm you're going to get in every Every specific block and the same thing is with Lira 2 Revision 2 and the same thing was with Lira 2 and then they made Lira 2 Revision 2 after the A6 were developed for a Lira 2 and now it is really a it is not actually ASIC resistant but it is really hard to make ASICs for that algorithm so the only way to mine it profitably is with your GPUs and since the only way to mine it is with your GPUs the hashing power on the whole network on any coin that uses that algorithm is not really high so you don't have to pay a lot of money to do 51% attack. If some coin has maybe like 200 uh, GPUs mining on it then only thing you have to do is uh, to buy hashing power of 201 GPUs. So the total amount of GPUs in the whole network will be 401, 200 original plus 201 of yours which you bought from the nice hash. So you have 201 from 401 so that means that you control more than 50% of the hashing power on the whole network. Network. And with the control of more than 50% of the hashing power, which you may be paid like 5, 10, 50 dollars depending on uh, how long you want to control the network and how many blocks you want to mine, you can make all of that money back really fast if the exchanges don't notice that, if other people don't notice that, and you can get the reward from every single block until somebody notices that and they say that exchanges do not want to trade with that coin. So for example, if you would want to attack the word coin, which is the most popular one, 
And if you would control the whole network for one day, which actually doesn't happen very often, coins don't get controlled for the whole day. They get controlled for maybe like a one hour to two hours or just like up to a few hours. But if you would be able to control the network for the whole day, you would get every single block reward for that whole day and you would be able to sell every single coin and you could you can reverse that transactions after that. So maybe you get like 1000 vert coin at that uh, full day of mining with 51% attack and then you sell that on the exchange but you still have the power to reverse that transaction and to get 1000 worth coin back so when you have 51% uh, of the GPU power on the one network you are the one that controls that network and not the other developers but people will start switching to that coin to that algorithm to help the network and they will defend that network or you will have to buy more hashing power but of course you can still buy more hashing power you can buy a few thousand more gpus over here you can see that there is a lot of people mining on lira to revision 2 over here there are more than 3000 people over here 2000 2000 2000 so altogether there is about 10000 people just mining on the eu servers plus about 15000 people mining on the usa servers so if you want to control the for a longer period than few hours and if you want to make more money you will have to invest more money than all of the other people in the network combined but if you have millions of dollars that should not be a problem for you especially for some smaller coins uh, which are not so well known as a vert coin so hopefully i explained that to you a little bit better and i know why profitability some sometimes jumps like this uh, up to like 200 percent for a few hours and you might think that somebody made a mistake that somebody paid you more money than you should actually get for mining but no you're the one that is making money to, for them and they are not actually making money for you of course you get paid for that but you make them a lot more money than they paid you even though they paid you 200 percent more than any other person at that time so thank you guys for watching this video let me know what you think about it down in the comments and see you soon in another one bye